What is up, family? It's your boy D coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the lab, and the peerless is on the menu. Okay, so this thing weighs about 65 pounds. For all the new guys who don't know what this is, um, this is the Peerless by Symphony STW350. Picked this thing up about a month ago. I'm loving it. Uh, however, even though this thing is optimized for sealed enclosures, which I have it in right here, this is a three cubic foot, but 3.1 cubic foot with displacement or after displacement. Um, this thing here sounds damn good. It's optimized for small sealed enclosures. The recommended volume for it actually is two cubic foot. However, this thing is power hungry. When I say power hungry, I'm saying that um, you're going to need about 3,500 watts to push these things to its maximum or to its full potential, right? Right now, I'm only giving it around 1,000 watts, um, which in any other car application would be adequate. But in my case, I find myself having to clip this thing in order to get you know, the level of performance that I know or that I'm accustomed to. I'm going to say that because I'm pushing it with one of these guys. Got a little dust on it. I've been cutting some wood. This is a brand new amp. This thing has less than, I want to say, less than six hours of play on it. But I haven't been able to use it because it's twin brother. That's right. It's two of these. It's in the car. And I don't have the alternator or the fusing to run both of them simultaneously, though I have had them hooked up, which resulted, I have had them paired. This thing is bridgeable, okay? Uh, I had had them paired and I only, um, and it resulted in me popping one of my fuses, okay? This is 150 hour, I'm um, 150 amp fuse, uh, which was a rookie move by me. I should have known that that wouldn't be enough amperage to uh to hold up for this oh that wouldn't have been enough fusing to hold up for the amperage draw that this thing is going to create at such a heavy load i mean one of these by itself draws over 100 amps at a uh, two ohm load so by me pairing uh two of them together i should have known to double that amperage 150 amps wasn't going to cut it and it blew this however this is not what this is about um, what I want to point out is that this thing here only is capable of a four ohm load. That's the lowest that it was, that it could go because it's actually uh, designed for a theater application. And I'm going over all this stuff for the new guys. The guys has been following the channel. I know you guys already know this stuff. I'm going to get it out of the box in a minute that you guys get a peek at it, all the new guys. But, uh, it's, it's a dual eight ohm subwoofer because it, it is suited for car and home audio applications. Okay. A lot of home applications are actually 16 ohms, 8 ohms. You get the point. All right, so this thing right here only puts out 800 watts at 8 ohms. I mean, at 4 ohms. So take check. Let's, let's go over this again. This thing is stable at 1 ohm, rated at 2,000 watts. At 4 ohms, however, it only is rated at like 800 watts, okay? So you go from 2,000 at 1 ohm to 800 at 4 ohm. And 800 watts, this thing is just, is laughing. In a sealed enclosure, it is laughing at 800 watts. So I'm saying to myself, okay, you don't have your alternator yet. Uh, you haven't got your fusing yet. So what would be more efficient for this driver? Even when you get your, your, your fusing and your alternator, you still are only able to bridge these two at a 4 ohm load, which means they'll have to share it which at two ohms, this thing's put out around 1300 watts. You still are not giving it its full potential as it being sealed because this thing is, is recommended 3500 watts, uh, in a, in a two foot enclosure. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm not going to be using both of these. I'm not. I'm not going to be using both of these. I told myself when it comes down to sound, a ported enclosure is how, way more efficient than a sealed enclosure. Yeah, a sealed enclosure give you accuracy, but I'm going to get to that later. Most people go over sealed, sealed over ported because of the accuracy that a sealed uh, uh, chamber would give you. And a ported, of course, get a lot more louder. It's more efficient. It uses 
the air within to uh, cause less stress on the speaker or the driver with the downside to that or the compromise to that being the fact that a ported enclosure is not as accurate, right? You trade off your accuracy for that. However, in this case, this thing is a completely different world. It's, it's, it does not play to the same tune of those uh, traditional um, uh, circumstances. Why? Because of the extreme and exaggerated measurements of this thing. It has a very large voice coil in it. It's a 15 inch driver, has a seven and a half inch voice coil. I know the guys that have been following this channel, you get probably tired of hearing that, but like I say, it's some new guys watching. And, um, this thing right here has an excellent BL rating. It has an excellent everything rating. If you want to find out more about that, just go back and look at the videos in my channel that I have on this driver already. And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. In short, it performed just as well in a ported enclosure as it does in a sealed enclosure. And you guys will go back on the channel, look at videos from other people who have done uh, reviews of this subwoofer, and you will see the exact same thing. So why am I going ported? Because it's more efficient. I can throw less power at it and get uh, the level of, of sound quality that I'm looking for. Okay, less power, well, port equals more output. That's one of the, or oh, that is the main um, uh, perk to having a ported enclosure. You don't need a whole lot of power and you can get max, uh, maximized output. You don't need a whole lot of power. Now, keep in mind, if you guys are planning on going to get one of these things, it's rated at 350 watts. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not 350 watts, 3500 watts. RMS and 5,000 watts peak. Keep in mind, you cannot do that in a sealed, I mean, in a ported enclosure. If you do this in a ported enclosure, it's going to reach its maximized X max. It's going to exceed its X max and you're going to bottom that thing out. And trust me, I haven't seen any recon kits for this thing. So you do that at your own risk. I'm going to be throwing about 750 to 800 watts at it. I will not go over that. I will set the gains. I got an oscilloscope and all that. I'm going to set it to that so that it does not exceed its X max and bottom this thing out. I don't, I don't want that happening. Even though this thing has a, uh, mechanical limit as far as like peak to peak X max, uh, of about 90 millimeters. Okay. About 90 millimeters. And yeah, that's a whole lot of throw. I'm going to be giving you guys some flex videos. I already got a flex video of it in the sealed enclosure, but I'm, I'm also going to be giving you a flex demo of it in, uh, in a ported enclosure so you guys can kind of like, uh, compare the two. I'm very, very excited about this. I just wanted to give you guys this little update. This is what I'm working on. And yeah, this, this little chamber right here is going to go next to this. This is going to be one. So I got some cutting to do. I got to take this whole, this whole bottom, the, the, it's just the bottom half of it. I'm going to take the bottom half of this panel and remove it and just glue this to that. And that's as simple as that. That's what I'm going to be doing for today. But first, before I do that, I have to get this out of here. Okay. So that's it. Just an update on what exactly I'm doing. I got some new tools. I got some new toys to share with you guys as well. Like I said earlier, I do have an oscilloscope. I did go out and get a DSP for the car. I did go out and get another um, uh, low, uh, uh, high, high low converter for you guys to uh, check out. So I got I got some some videos coming to you guys. Just just be patient with your boy. And how I'll be getting some more videos out there for you. But until next time, it's your boy D and I'm out.